Today, I'm gonna to be making a cake called Sad Cake. This cake, uh, the recipe comes from Being Dead is No Excuse, the official Southern Ladies Guide to Hosting the Perfect Funeral. And what the deal was is I put a poll up on my, uh, for my Patreon members and my YouTube membership members, and I said, which cake would you like to see? Which recipe would you like to see? Would you like to see a vodka cake or a sad cake? Well, it was a tie. It was a tie for the Patreon community. It was a tie for the YouTube community. So I decided to make both. So we've already, uh, we made the vodka cake. Hopefully you watched that video. That came from this book as well. And so now we're gonna uh, make the sad cake. So for this cake, you will need one and a half cups of Bisquick, which that's the box. That's what it looks like, the Bisquick. You need one pound of light brown sugar and so I just measured that out or you can buy a one pound box of light brown sugar. You need four eggs lightly beaten so I just cracked them in this bowl and took my fork and beat them up a little bit. You need one third cup of oil. I'm using vegetable oil because we always have plenty of that. One cup of shredded coconut. I'm using the Great Value Sweetened Coconut Flakes and one cup of pecan pieces. And so we bought chopped pecans and uh, we're gonna use those pecan pieces. So you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you want to generously butter a nine by 13 inch pan. We call this a lasagna pan, but you can make a lot of things in it. Uh, you can see I did not, I decided not to generously grease the pan because I wanna use parchment paper. If you use parchment paper, you won't even have to wash the pan. You can pull the whole thing out of here and, and it's clean. So I'm using parchment paper. So the first thing we want to do is mix together the Bisquick and sugar. Once you've mixed these together, you want to kind of create a, a well in the center of your bowl. And you want to pour the eggs, oil, coconut and pecans into this indentation and stir until well mixed. Now we're gonna take this mixture and pour it evenly into our pan. say don't bake it any longer than 45 minutes so our oven is set to 350 I'm going to bake it for 42 minutes and then when I take it out I'll let you know how long I had it in for this is how it looks I ended up taking it out at 40 minutes because it got nice and brown and it the recipe does not say anything about letting it cool off at all so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and cut it it says it makes two dozen ladylike squares. I don't know if this cake is called sad cake because the poor thing is made with Bisquick or because you see it at funerals. Sad cake can be cut in squares and served from early morning to late afternoon with coffee and tea. Actually, it does not even resemble a cake. So, um, it, it, it really doesn't, does More it? More bread. Yeah, it looks like a bread. It looks like something if you put it in a, in a loaf pan and cut it differently, it, it would look like a slice of bread. And since we don't know if we're supposed to be, it sounds from the book like you could eat it at room temperature. I didn't know if we were supposed to let it cool or if it would be better cooled or, or room temperature or what. Uh, but Kevin was surprised it doesn't have any uh, glaze or anything on it. He doesn't need it. <laughs> it's super sweet. I think a glaze would kind of ruin it, honestly. Hard to hot. Mm-hmm. That is amazing. And I love all the little pecan pieces. Mm -hmm. You get, you feel the texture. Mm -hmm. And you get the texture of the chew of the coconut, too. Yeah. This is literally just like right out of the oven, pretty much cut it. Yes. And we're eating it. 
Yes. Um, it's excellent hot. It is excellent hot, yes. But I bet you it's just as delicious. I bet you it turns chewier when it's cooled off. Like more of a chewy texture. Because right now it's, kind of, it's still kind of chewy, but it's it's a softer chew. Mm -hmm. I bet you it gets more sticky chewy. Mm -hmm. Was that a big enough bite? Hmm. You know what? I'm glad you like it. So, it was so easy. Um, I didn't have to get the mixer out at all. Hmm. Yeah. This mix together with a spoon? You just put it, basically get a large bowl. And you saw, I took all the ingredients and just put them in that big bowl, mixed it together, poured it into that pan. Isn't that kind of like a dump cake? Couldn't yeah. have, well, you could call this, it's another version of a dump cake, sure. You just dump the stuff in there you and start it. dump it in there and go. You it's don't kind have to of, do anything. Yeah. And you didn't even have to go to the trouble of using parchment paper as long as you really grease your pan well. Mm -hmm. You you could, you don't have to have parchment paper at all. But this is like so very, very simple and it's absolutely delicious. That is a wonderful cake. Sorry, I ate all mine. <laughs> um, yeah, and you know what? I really, you said it had coconut in there. Yes. You, you get the texture of the coconut. Yes, you get the texture. But you know, I don't really taste. That coconut's not the strongest flavor I get out of that. Mm -mm. The strongest flavor is honestly pecans. I agree. And then just sweet. Sugar. Like, like sugar and sweet. sugar. Yeah. A pound. There's a lot of brown sugar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm looking forward to what this is going to be like when it's cooled off. Just right. to see the difference, honestly. I am too. Um, it'll be interesting, but it's excellent hot. Yes, it's excellent hot. And, um, you know, if you, if you do let it get to room temperature and you like it better heated, you can always stick in the microwave for yeah. a few seconds. Yeah, 10 seconds or something. Yeah. yeah. But this is excellent. I'm going to uh, link this uh, book below. So if you want to get a copy off Amazon, you can. Uh, this this is a great book. Great book full of funny, funny, funny stories. She's enjoyed and, looking through it, just finding stuff. Yeah, and, and just the stories in here are very funny. Uh, yeah, I, I've enjoyed it. It's all about the South. Uh, so... Uh, very, very uh, good humor, a uh, humorous book. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've ever heard of this cake before, maybe you know it under a different name. Maybe it has the exact same ingredients and it's just called something different. I've never had anything like it. No, me either. But I would give it a five out of five. Yeah, it's very good. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.